Yeah, hi buddy and hi, hi everybody. Hi. Yeah, good so evening doctor. Today, yes, yes good the evening. Hot and as you rightly said, yesterday was grandparents day and I wish all the grandparents uh, a very happy grandparents day and thank you for making everything grand. Uh, and as the pope rightly said, uh, grandparents are people who would actually transfer the faith from one oh, generation to the other generation from age to age. Yeah. Oh, um yeah. But today I want to tell you something else. I also, in addition to transferring faith from one generation to the other generation, I also want you to transfer the sip that I gave you uh, as far as health is concerned from one generation to the other generation because you are the guide for the generations to come and you will be shaping the future. Uh, and while you do that, I want you to remember that you need to think of yourself. Today is the 24th of July. So it's 24 seven and there is something very special about 24 seven on the 24th of July, it's observed as the international day for self care, yeah. the international day for self care. And I've been saying this several times that while we are the ones who are taking care of everyone else around us and we think we can multitask and make sure we take care of our grandchildren and our children and our house and our finances and this and that, we sometimes do it by compromising our own health. And that is what 24-7 is reminding you about, or this International Day for Self-Care is trying to remind you about, is that you need to take care of yourself. And self-care is not being selfish. Sometimes you feel, okay, why should I take care of myself? You know, that like that's selfish. How can I think of myself? No, if you think of yourself, and if you are healthy, you'll be in a better position to think care of other people. So that's why, that's the sip of the day that I would want you to think of yourself and commit and make that kind of a commitment to embrace self-care. Now, how do you do it? Uh, you know, when we talk about healthcare delivery, we talk about different levels. There are levels, the, the third level, which is the tertiary level where you have super specialized hospitals or the secondary level where you have these, you know, um, hospitals at the district levels and you have primary healthcare. In addition to that, there's a fourth level, the fourth level that happens at your house itself. So that is what we're trying to encourage. If you take care of yourself in the house, don't think of healthcare will be will be will start happening once you go to a clinic. It starts happening in the house itself. It starts happening when one you start becoming aware of health related issues and you become a, 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 what we call health literate. And that's what we try to do at the Memory Cafe. At, every Monday we try to educate you on various aspects so that you can incorporate that in your health in your in, in yourself such that you remain healthy. So health literacy is something very important. Exercise more. So try to do a little bit of walking. Try to up it up a bit. So if you're doing little walking, try to do more. So you can do a little bit more exercise. Exercise is good for you. Eat healthy. So always try to see if I, what I'm eating, is it healthy or not? If it is not healthy, it is not good for you. So try to avoid that. Try to find alternatives to what you're eating and, and, and modify your diet accordingly. Uh, connect with people, always stay connected. And this is one of the platforms that we give you to connect with people. There are various other platforms, connect with friends that you have not spoken to for, for long because connecting with people helps improve your health. It's important to understand that. Take care of simple conditions and these are risk factors for multiple diseases. For example, diabetes. Diabetes is a lot of self-care that you can do. Take care of your diabetes at home. Don't think that the complicate, once something has your sugars rise, you will get to know about it. No, you may not go. These are silent killers. The sugars go up, it causes complications, and then you get to know about it. So that is a bit too late. You need to monitor yourself if you have diabetes. There are various ways of monitoring yourself. And we have spoken about it in, this, in a different sip. Take care of your blood pressure. Make sure it's within that normal limit. 120 by 80 is what you need to aim, but try to keep it below 140 systolic blood pressure and 90 diastolic pressure. So if you keep the blood pressure low, the better it is. So you'll be able to perform better and you'll the less likely chances of getting complications. Man manage your weight. I told you something called BMI. I told you how you can actually calculate your body mass index and know if you're overweight or obese. If you are, then try to incorporate ways by changing diet and improving exercise to be able to reduce your weight so that you can be in the optimal weight slab. Uh, control your cholesterol. Adopt brain healthy and heart healthy activities. Do not ignore your mental health. Always try to remain stress-free. And sleep, sleep. So sleep is very, very important for all of us. It's one of the important factors. Sometimes uh, we tend to ignore, we're thinking a lot or, we, or whatever, we tend to be busy, especially in midlife, we tend to ignore, we ignore our sleep. 
and that is what impacts our health. So when you're educating others and you're trying to pass on the faith to others, you need to pass on the healthy activities and advice to your grandchildren as well on how to stay healthy because the earlier they incorporate these healthy lifestyles, uh, the better it will be for them. So that was my sip for the day. Thanks, doctor. It's fact a hot sip, but really required self-care. I think all of us as mothers, we don't think about ourselves. It's always thinking and helping, coping, caring for others. So today I hope all our magicians, yes, please take note of what doctor has said. Self-care, we are not being selfish, but if we are healthy, the home is healthy. So thanks, doctor. Yes, true.